So pot plants are becoming um, more and more popular. They always have been, but 2018 has been marked as the year where their popularity will really spike. And so I want to take you through a quick demonstration of how to best water them. Um, I love this way of watering my indoor plants because it's generally mess free um, and you don't have to water them as frequently. So one of the issues that occurs with pot plants is that they dry out very quickly. And what can happen is that around the edge of the pot, the soil will drift away and move away from the, the plastic pot. And then when you water the pot, the water will just run across the surface and down the gaps between the, the soil and the plastic pot. And so none of that water actually gets into the root, um, to the roots of the plant. And so that's why you can be watering, but you've still got an unhappy plant, pot plant. So the best way to do it is to soak them. So um, I get a, a trough ready, or you can get buckets of water ready, and then take your pot and fully submerge it. And so then you'll top up the existing water. Now what we're looking for is to have this water level right over the top, like right over the brim of that plastic pot. So it's right to the edge there. And what you'll see right in here is, is bubbling. And what that bubbling is, is the air pockets in that soil getting filled up with water. So the water pushes in and it pushes the air out. And so what we know then is that, um, it's right to the brim here, that water is getting right into the roots of that pot plant. And so I like to let them sit and soak until all those bubbles are gone. Or you can just leave them there for you know, 10, 20 or more minutes um, and, and just let, let them have a really good bath and a really good, really good soak. And then once that was fully, fully soaked and finished, then you'll just take it away and let it drain. So that's where you can either, if you've got, um, if you're doing it in a trough, I like to take them out, cycle it and use the same water so that I'm not wasting water and I'm doing all of my pot plants all at the same time. And then just let them drain. And that way you can put them back then into your home, you know, on nice pieces of furniture without being worried that they're going to drip and, um, and leave water stains somewhere. Um, the uh, other reason for doing this is that sometimes we have pot plants with saucers. And so if we're just watering into that saucer, the water's just sitting pooled at the bottom. And sometimes the roots, de dependent on the, the type of plant, can get um, rotted. And so it's called root rot. And so, um, so that can and cause a really sick looking plant. Um, so this is my um, favorite tip for how to water indoor pot plants. And um, we'll have more tips for you soon.